APT33 is using a custom VPN solution. Hey Manish, uh, so sounds like another state-sponsored actor has built up some new kind of infrastructure that they're using? That's right, so Trend Micro published a report about uh, APT33, which is uh, believed to be an Iranian hacking group. Mm -hmm. um, so they're trying to uh, hide their location by setting up their own private VPN infrastructure instead of just using the commercial VPN infrastructure and the servers that are already out there. Um, so they, you know, they layered and isolated their infrastructure pretty well. Um, you know, it's, I guess it's like, it was segmented into four different layers. So the first layer was their custom um, VPN uh, nodes. Okay. Then they connect to their bot controller layer. Um, from there, it's like the C2 backend layer. And that's what they were using to manage their botnet, okay. uh, the malware. And uh, finally from that, or actually not finally, so from that then they go through a uh, proxy layer of different cloud proxy servers. And then finally to the actual targets that they were uh, after. Um, so there's a lot of steps to get to the victim. Um, you know, a lot of p p potential um, ways to uh, mask who you, who, you know, who the attacker really is. But unfortunately, what happened, well, I guess unfortunately for APT33, I guess Trend Micro was kind of aware of their, or had some sort of knowledge of some of their uh, VPN infrastructure. So mm -hmm. uh, it actually kind of made monitoring easy for them because rather than lumping all of their traffic in with everyone else's VPN traffic through a commercial provider, they, they knew that this was solely used by APT33. So all of the traffic, could have been attributed to APT33 in that respect. Right. Um, the interesting thing about this is that APT33 decided to set up their own open VPN infrastructure on their own servers, so it made it very easy to track all the way through because you, you, know, you knew the starting point for them. Um, they weren't obfuscated in a mix of a bunch of other people's traffic. But some of the things they also um, noticed that they were accessing like pen testing website sites, like different companies. Mm -hmm. uh, there were, I guess, webmail. They were looking at different uh, vulnerability web, like sites for vulnerability information, and you know, crypto hacking sites, things like that. So, so while they were connected to this infrastructure, through this, through this infrastructure, right, right doing their research it, right. and whatnot, right, right, right. Okay. So that exactly that's that was my point is. You know, so not only are they targeting their victims through this uh, infrastructure, they're also doing their own, you know, research on maybe some of their next exploits or vulnerabilities that they want to exploit and things like that. Right, right. It's also interesting to me, like, I'm not quite sure I understand. There's a picture here where we kind of show right, right, right. all the layers here, but I'm not quite sure I, I fully understand. But there's definitely, you know, these are all their targets victims. over here. There's a lot of le levels or layers of indirection that would make things a lot more difficult right, uh, right. for you know a network defender right, to monitor right. or you know get wind of that they're being i guess you would be you know if i was a defender i'd be looking at this cloud proxy stuff that they use because that's probably how they're going to interact with, with the my victims. targets that right. work at my company right right um so that would be but you know interesting to know what those right sources are what those ips are and track that activity um, but even then, like looking at the cloud proxy, you're kind of, you know, I guess the point of it was to isolate themselves, right? So you might be able to see the cloud proxy, but, you know, maybe you might not see who the victim is, you know, obviously unless if it's you being targeted. And right. And on the other end, on the other side of the cloud proxy, you wouldn't know, you know, you'd have some difficulty in, in knowing what's on the other side of that as well. Right, right. In theory, it was a good idea, but uh, I guess in practice, it turned out to not be uh, that successful. For right, them. especially because their initial gateway in here was the easiest area to monitor. And right. As soon as you figured that out, if you were able to figure out this left-hand side, you're able right. to get back to the right. sources, which I guess probably pointed back to Iran in some way that was a little bit easier to figure right. out. Whereas if you're starting from over here on the right side, it would be Getting more difficult to figure with, out. Right. And um, I think one of the other things is probably this is very difficult to manage with all these layers and make sure it's all set up properly and, you know, all the routes are, you know, 
going the way you expect them to be going and things like that, right? Right. So if you had to manage all of that, it's probably very difficult as well. Right, managing the infrastructure. Right. It looks like they had quite a bit of infrastructure. They don't really give you any right. hard numbers here, but right. um, uh, but yeah, sure. The more infrastructure you have, the more difficult it is to manage. If you're if you're trying to protect yourself against these you know these organizations. You know, I guess there's, uh, because of the layered uh, targeting efforts, you, you know, you can't just focus on one area. You, so you got to look at cloud infrastructure, VPN infrastructure. You got to kind of, you know, be monitoring everything coming into your networks.